BBC introducing in Lincolnshire. It's Hayley Ritchie with you tonight and we're going to spend the next half an hour or so with a band called Carry the Crown who we just think are amazing. We've supported them for, for quite a while over the last year or so. They've uh, recently played our last plugged gig at the Engine Shed. Uh, they've been in for a session and we've played every track they've uploaded. Their track Fire has probably been played more than any track we've ever played um, on this show before and we're going to hear that now and then we're going to spend the rest of the next half an hour or so listening to brand new EP from them that was released last week. So first of all, this is Carry the Crown with Fire. Introducing in Lincolnshire, and it's Hayley Richer here with you tonight, and I'm joined by Carrie the Crown. Hello. Hello. How are you all doing? Not great. Great. God, that was so loud. (laughs) Some of you aren't wearing your headphones, so that was super loud in here. (laughs) (laughs) Well, even though it hasn't been that long since we last caught up with you, it feels like there's loads to talk about already. How was Plugged, first of all? It was really, really oh, good. It was great. <laughs> we love Lincoln shows. Yeah, it they're was the, good. They're the best ones. Yeah, it was really good to get you on. I thought both of you and Kill the Ideal really sort of got across the local uh, the local music scene at the minute. It should do, because we're actually going on tour with them in May. So oh, we didn't know that at yeah, all when we, didn't we booked know. you. Well, well, we booked a tour with them before we were invited to Plugged, and then... Unplugged, they were on there as well. We're like, oh, cool. Oh, yes. <laughs> we'll meet them before the tour then. <laughs> um, so you're actually all here today to talk about this new EP that was released last weekend. Yeah, the, the second. Yeah, it came out on the Friday. second. The yeah. second. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So what's the mm. reception been like so far? Oh, it's been amazing. We, we've been sitting on these tracks for months and we've just been giving, like, we, we put fire out in December with a music video and we had four of the tracks from the EP and we just had them. And we're just waiting to put them out because it's so different from what we did before in terms of maturity, we think. And um, the, reception, the reception since we put it out 
has mm. been insane. People love it. Yeah, yeah, the reviews we've had have all been like so positive and really appreciate like the reception that we've had from the EP. I yeah. see you've been getting lots of reviews as well because I've been looking through your Twitter feed and lots yeah. of people have been sort of yeah. independently reviewing it, which is which is really good to see as well. Yeah, and mm. reviewing it well, which is really yeah. nice to see because <laughs> you good. never know when when you put it out if people are going to like what you like. Yeah, and uh, it's been it's been really good. Are we allowed to name? Uh, yeah, I mean we got reviewed by got reviewed by Krang. That was obviously one which we got. Oh, we were so that. scared. We get to tick that off the bucket list. It, it was really bizarre though, wasn't it? Because you remember when we actually opened it and then you looked on the next page to where ours was and there was Nickelback's album getting reviewed. It was like being in even in the same pages as Nickelback. <laughs> you made it. That's well, it. Growing up oh. reading these magazines, like we used to like twelve years old, you used to go to you used to go to the uh, news agents and buy these and read them and always look at the bands and like look up to them. So actually getting reviewed in one of those magazines, it, it means a lot to us. And not getting slated by them as well. That's <laughs> that always helps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that kind of the absolute aim for this EP? I mean, I know you've worked really hard on it. We've been talking about it upcoming for a while. Um, is this is this something that's going to catapult you guys, do you reckon? We, that's the hope. It's one of those things yeah. that a lot of the reviews we've had, they said that the second EP is that one that it makes or breaks a band. And we're so happy that it's had this good reception because it, it means that... We feel like we can push it and we're going to work so hard to make this happen. Well, so. we're going to oh, yeah. play the full thing on the show next in the next sort of 20 minutes or so. We're going to hear every track on the album. So give us an idea of what we can expect. What are we, what are we going to hear tonight? It's a bit of everything in a way. I mean, a lot of the reviews have said that it has a bit for everyone almost, but it tells a story at the same time. Mm. So you kind of... It starts very up with sort of more alt rock and then it'll go into a bit of pop rock, then it'll go into... The softy, acoustic slow, side. Yeah, and then we'll go back straight into something really explosive and then end with something... Massive. Yeah, massive. Like, a bit a bit heavier than we've done before, but not to the point of, you know, it being too much. It's one it's, of those EPs that if you yeah. listen to it, you, you play the first song and you play it all the way through in order, and it, it takes you on that roller coaster of a journey. Uh, something that's been said is that this EP is more of a, a complete... EP, mm. rather than just a selection of songs thrown together, it feels like they kind of work together and flow and kind of show off what we do. And what's been really nice as well is that pretty much every review has picked a different song as their favourite or must download or I don't, I mean... Which must be just really good to hear yeah. that, that there isn't sort of one track that everyone's picking out. Yeah. It's like that every track is really well liked. Yeah, it's really good. Well, we heard Fire just just then before yep. we came to you. We played that about a million times on this show. <laughs> um, we really um, appreciate we, that. So what, what, tell us a little bit about the idea behind that one then, because that's the one that you've chosen to start the album with. Yeah. Why was that? Well, I think we, we've spoken about Fire before um, on one of the previous shows we've done with you, and we had all five tracks laid out, and we had to decide which order they went in. And Fire was the one that we kind of thought, look, this says who we are, it's, ener it's got the energy, it's got the drive, yes. and it, it appeals to people that like us already and people that might just be finding out about Carry the Crown. Great. Well, we, we know we absolutely love that track. So the next one that we're going to hear now is Say You'll Stay. Tell well, us about that. Well, that's the one that Kerrang picked out. The, uh, the It's more of a pop rock uh, feel. Um, I'll tell you what, well, let's play it yeah. and then we'll, we'll talk about it afterwards, cool. OK? So this is Carry the Crown with Say You'll Stay.
You'll Stay by Carry the Crown. I really like that. That's really So this is the one that Kerrang! magazine sort of picked out as their one of their favourites. This is the yeah. one to download, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> to Kerrang. Well, I think actually they're all the ones to download. Oh, you should get them all. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us what this one's about. Say You'll Stay. So it's written uh, from the point of view of someone who's moved away from where they were from. And it's uh, them talking about how everyone from their past said, oh, just stay here. Just stay here. You'll get a job. You know, you'll get by. Um... And there's like I think we use the word darling and yeah. honey in there, and it's 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 the the words that the older generation might have used. Just go, oh, just settle down, darling. Oh, come on, honey, just you know, get a job, settle down, be fine. And then the chorus is all obviously say you'll yeah. stay, say you'll stay in this place, and uh, the answer is no. That's not your plan, I <laughs> <No>. guess. <laughs> the thing is, we've all been in that situation as well. Martin moved from Castleford. I well, oh, we me and Shire from Grantham, and we've obviously come to Lincoln. Tom's from somewhere in Scotland, apparently. <laughs> Nobody <saying>. knows. <laughs> He's it's one of those things like so many people stay in their home, the the, the, the city they come from, and they, they never go. There's people who live their entire life and not even leave in the country they were born in. And there's so much of the world out there, just go out and do something. But the thing is, it's fine to stay where you were born and stuff. That's absolutely yeah. great. But it's when people try to hold you back, that's the issue. When mm. people say, look, just stay here, you'll be fine. And like if you, some people have the ambition to go and do something else. Don't get in the way of it. Squashed, didn't they? Yeah, don't yeah. get in the way of it. That idea is the, basically the main thread that runs through the entire EP. Like pretty much every song, maybe apart from "Hold Me," has some kind of connection to getting out of where you're from or just following your ambition. Like "Fire" is about following your passion. Um, "Say You'll Stay" is reflecting on when people in the past have said, "Don't go for what you want," and you say, "No, I'm gonna go and try." Um, and that was when we were building this EP. We said, "Right, we want to actually make this something that connects all the way through." Um, that people can connect to and reflect on and understand and connect to their own lives, and I think we've managed to do it. Mm. Definitely. It's, it's better to have tried, though, isn't it? Like, it's better to have tried... Oh, yeah, this yeah, is, you know this is a quote this. we love. It's better to have tried and, like, failed than it is to have never tried and always think... Well, I've always wondered, what if... What if I'd actually put the effort in to see how far I could have actually got? Yeah, no regrets. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Hashtag YOLO. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that should have been the title of the EP. I hate oh, myself for even my saying We've that. missed it. Where did we find you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so moving on then to the next track, Hold Me. Uh, we'll play it and then we'll yep. have a chat about it afterwards. Cool. Everybody's talking about how it's not right. In the moment that you want to shout, it's all right. But I won't say it, I don't mind. Take a moment here with me to find the strength to say, hold me now, hold me now. For worlds crashing down in the Hidden behind that smile you wore But I won't say it, I've done the same Take a moment here with me To find a strength to say Down in the same place I call 
That was the actual end of the song as well. There you go. <laughs> was that in the, was that on the recording or the sneeze? <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> that was you Harry the Crown and, and hold me very beautifully finished off there. Oh my god, you had three and a half minutes to sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so that was Hold Me off the new EP. Like I said earlier, probably one of my favourites off the uh, off the EP. It's one that stands out to me. Thank you very um, much. Tell us about it. Go ahead, Martin. <laughs> Uh, this is the, probably the most serious one on the on the EP. It's um, it comes from like a personal place from a lot of stories from each of the band members and also a lot of people we know. And the main theme of it is n- knowing that you can ask for help when you need it. And um, the chorus is kind of that accepting of that help. That hold me now, hold me now is the someone saying, look, just let me help you. Let's let's get through this. And the verses are, are all about um, being able to ask for that help when you need it. Um, and there's a music video for this as well, isn't there, yeah. on, online? Yeah, so it's on our YouTube channel, which is Carry the Crown. Um, it's on our Facebook, which is Carry the Crown. Mm. It's on uh, a bit of it on our Instagram, which is Carry the Crown Official. It's on a bit of it on our Twitter, which is Carry the Crown. We're called Carry the Crown. Carry the Crown, right? Okay. I, I, I'm, I've, I've lost all meaning of our band name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this one actually like, uh, follows a story arc. Um, it really nicely works with the song, we think, anyway. And people seem to be really enjoying it. Yeah, and is that kind of why you chose this to be the next official single? Because it's the one that kind of has that story it, to it. It was, it was really weird because when it was written, I came into a rehearsal room with just this acoustic guitar riff and Martin literally, with a click of a finger, came up with it. And I think it's because... The songs that we'd, we've done music videos for are the ones that have flowed the most naturally. So, Fire was written within five minutes, was it, guys? Really? It wasn't very long. Something like that, yeah. Five, ten minutes that took. Hold Me took probably even less. Just because... M- not the well, entire song. The, the initial the ideas. Initial yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you know yeah. what I mean? But, like, it's the ones that come the most natural that we feel we can do more with. Aside from that, it's also that we wanted to show that we can do something different. Mm. Every song we've put out so far has been high energy, driven... Uh, like catchy choruses, like me going full out vocally, and we wanted to show that we can actually do something else as well. We can do the softer stuff. Hometown is next, so is this going along Woo! the same theme as the, you know, being from a small town and breaking absolutely, out? Absolutely, yeah. That, right? yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, did you want to play the track? Mm-hmm. And then we'll talk about it. Well, afterwards. actually, <laughs> actually, I was thinking we might do this the other way around. But si- <laughs> Keep those listeners on their toes. Since you insist, <laughs> since you insist this is Hometown by Kyle the Crown.
Hometown by Carry the Crown from the new EP. Woo! Woo! I did we whoop after every track or just that one? <laughs> is there a reason why that, that was the only one they got a whoop? I don't know. It is for me. I, I mean, that, that song got written before. That was the first one. That was the first I, one off the EP. That was yeah. the first one. But the bare essentials of that were written before I even joined the band and then said, What do you think to this, guys? At which point, James put. When, this is amazing. When James hears something that he likes, he just watches his little ears prick up. And then he'll suddenly sit forward and then I'll go, is that ours? <laughs> Can we use that? At which point then a song is normally written within the following 15 to 20 minutes. You know when you get that. You get that feeling. These two always play stuff like on the guitars and I, I don't really know what they sort of listen to. So I'm always like, oh, is that ours or are you just playing something that's already been released and written and become a number one? <laughs> well, that's um, a good sign so if it sounds to, like no, that. No, but I have to ask. Because <laughs> we're not. We've got this rule now where if you're in the practice room, you're just simply not allowed to play anything unless it's ours. Unless, unless it's your yeah, own. Yeah, unless so you've there's made no it confusion. Up. Because I get excited <laughs> and then find out it's Adele, someone like me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we ha- we haven't actually had hometown. Yet. So yeah, yeah hometown. 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 <laughs> like the thing is, because we, we wrote that one first, I think a couple of months before we wrote the other four for the EP, we we played we've played that one live. Probably, probably about we played it for like the second second half of touring last year. Yeah, we started playing it live because it to test it. Yeah, give it a go. See what the response was, and it was always a it was always good. Like people coming up after the show and saying, "Oh, that last song that you played, it, it was something different." And we that's the whole theme that came from this EP. It was something different. It was built around that song. It's a different style for us. It's more mature and. Yeah. And, and because that one was kind of about where you've come from and your hometown, getting out of that, and it's a bit of an ag- aggressive song if you listen to the lyrics in terms of what's actually happening in the song. Um, that's where the whole thread of the EP came from. We worked around that, but we we love that song live because we it's got like a call and response thing. You were at Plugged, so you saw, and yeah. we get people down on the floor, and then we teach them how to do the woes, and uh, the the crowd sing it back to us, and it's a really good response we get the live. The first for it. band that's ever done that at Plugged, I'll say, Woo! got everyone really? on the floor, and everyone really got into yeah, it as it well good. and actually did it. I mean, I'm great. glad because I Even was. Me, I was down. I was on so <laughs> if, if you lot didn't do it, I'd just look like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So we've got one left, but first of oh, all, um, best till last. yeah, James, is it the one. best till last? Is it this? Or this? Oh. We, we've oh. all got our own favourites. Yeah. Okay. If you went round this room and asked all five of us, it would be, be one completely different answer for each. Of Shall we do it? Go on then. Let's yeah. do Shall it. Shall we do it? Oh, There's God, five God. songs, so are we going to hear all the tracks on it? Go then. Let's go from it. Let's go from right Tom, you go. Okay. So I've come from a heavier background. So yeah, we don't need to know your life story, mate. He's ruined it already. Tom likes eyes. Was the answer Tom to that, I think. Eyes. eyes. <laughs> okay. Martin? I think mine's hold me. Mine's say you'll stay. Mine's fire. Eyes. Oh, oh, oh so hometown. He, he hometown. 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 James, you ruined it. No, because I already said before we started this that eyes was my favourite. Tom ruined it. Yeah, but you wouldn't know because you were laid so far back. Okay, my hometown. Hometown's one of those ones because we toured it. It is one of those ones. It's gone to the back. The, the other songs are one like of the newer ones. Like it doesn't feel new. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. let you off. We'll let you. Off. Didn't quite go to plan, but we'll let you off. Hometown <laughs> is also excellent. You had one job. <laughs> All you had to Jeez, say was hometown. <laughs> uh, so we, before we hear the last song on the EP and. Collectively, the favourite because it got two votes. Yeah, true. <laughs> it is um, the best. Where can Democracy. people get this EP from if they want to find out more about Carry the Crown or anything else? Where can they find so it? So everywhere. It's on iTunes, Apple Music. It's on Deezer. It's on uh, Amazon. Sp- Amazon. It's on Spotify. Uh, it's everywhere. Available from your local Carry the Crown concert coming to a city near oh, yeah. you. Live gigs. Keep com- us up to date. With it. Have you got us. any? Have you got any booked in that you can mention now? We, or? we could. There is something coming up very soon that Go on everything then, is. Should on, we just on, do on, you want an exclusive? Yes, I would love an exclusive. We've actually just literally just had this confirmed the other day by the tech crew that we've got coming in for it. We're actually headlining at Liquor on Saturday the 14th of April with a band called Echoic that are from down south. Really, really good band. We're doing a date a few days before that with them in Brighton. And then as a the opening act, we've got a local band called Guts. 
Yeah, you guys yeah, yeah we played play. that quite a lot on yeah. the show. Yeah, yeah I really like them. Guys. By the way, liquor is in Lincoln. Oh. And details will be on social media to get they where will... they can get tickets yeah. from. Tickets. And... We put everything out on different social medias, like bits and pieces everywhere. The final place we can get everything is our website. So it's www.carrythecrown.com. Right, great. So we've heard most of the tracks off the EP now. We've just got one left to play called Eyes. Thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for it's having us. Pleasure. It's we been... love coming to see Thank you guys. You. Oh, it's good to have you back in. Keep us up to date with any new gigs or anything like that. We'll always give Absolutely them a mention well. on the show. Yep. All right. Thank you very much. Great. Thanks. Bye, guys. Every time that I close my eyes, every time that I see, it's all that I need. It's all that I need. That I close my eyes Every time that I see It's all that I need nothing left to say this time i know your lies and in a way you've set me free now you're gonna say i'm the one who walks away and you're never gonna be the one who's next to me and i don't feel the same to say this time i know your lies in every way it's breaking me last time you meant to say that you're gonna walk away you've never been the one who ever stood up next to me and that mark will not fail That's Eyes, the last track on the brand new EP from Carry the Crown. I really enjoyed talking with them through each song and what it means and how the album came together. I thought that was really, really interesting. And if you did like the sound of that, please go and support them. Go onto their social media pages, uh, listen to their music, watch their music videos, buy their EP um, and catch them at a show. They've got a lot of gigs coming up soon, so please do support them.